Hi guys, I'm Wendy. Today we're making pumpkin puree and roasted pumpkin seed. First, to pick a good pumpkin, the stem should be browned and not detached, and the bottom should be firm to detach when it's poked, and it should have a hollow sound when it is gently tapped, and the mini pumpkin mostly will have a rich and sweeter flavor. First, cut the pumpkin. Slice off the top and then slice them into half. This requires a sharp knife and also some muscles. <laughs> Next, prepare a strainer with a bowl underneath it and use a spoon to scoop off the seeds and also pumpkin membrane. And make sure that the seeds is being saved for later use. And this is the pumpkin seeds. Next, line the baking sheet with parchment paper. And then, brush some vegetable oil onto the pumpkin surface. Make sure they are thoroughly coated but gently. And turn them face side down. After that, just pop them into the oven for 200 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes. Next, use a spoon to separate the seeds from the membrane. And these are the seeds that you should save. Next, clean them using cold water by running them through your fingertips on a fine mesh strainer and then shake off any excess water and on a clean dry towel, pour your seeds onto it and then dry them by rolling them between the towel Repeat the process until they are thoroughly dried and then Spread them out onto a single layer and let them air dry on the countertop. Pour the dry seeds onto a mixing bowl and then add some olive oil, some pepper, salt, some cinnamon and some other spices. Today I'm using oregano and a bit of a basil but you can use any other powder like garlic powder or any other spices mix them up together and then pour them on the single layer onto a baking sheet and pop them into the oven for about 20 minutes now the pumpkin is ready when it is pork tender let it cool slightly and use a fork and a spoon to help you peel off the skin from the pumpkin Make sure to scrape off any pumpkin from the skin as well. Use a ziplock bag. Put all the pumpkin fleshed into the ziplock bag. Seal it off and prepare to roll it again into puree until it is smooth like this. Meanwhile, your pumpkin seeds should be ready when they are golden brown and when you shake them, they are nice and crispy. They should be stored in an airtight container. Now is the time to enjoy! Listen! This is how crispy they are! <laughs> They are actually full in magnesium and high in zinc, so they are actually good for us. Now is the time to taste pumpkin puree. They are rich and velvety. And they are full of vitamins as well. And you can use pumpkin puree to make a lot of things. Dessert like pumpkin cupcakes, pumpkin pie which I'm going to show you this pumpkin pie in the next video. So, see you there. Bye-bye.